To secure your accessory foot to your overlock, raise the presser foot lifter, slide the foot underneath the clamp, and release the presser foot lifter. Push on the catch, and the presser foot is secured. To remove the presser foot from your overlock, lift the presser foot lever, press the catch, and you may wish to raise the presser foot lever for additional lift for ease in removing the foot. The standard presser foot is used with most serging applications, including overlock stitching, flat lock stitching, and rolled hemming. The sole of the foot is flat, keeping the layers of fabric in constant contact with the feed dogs. The raised markings on the front of the foot are helpful for accurate stitching as they indicate the location of the needles. The lines are used as reference points from the cutting line when the blade is set at 2 millimeters. An adjustable guide on the top front of the foot accommodates ribbon, elastic, and tapes up to a quarter inch wide. This is useful when applying twill tape or elastic to stabilize a seam. When using the tape guide, remember to adjust the guide to the proper width. Lift the presser foot and insert the tape so that it extends under the needles. Lower the foot, take a few stitches to secure, then continue serging the seam. The blind stitch foot is designed with an adjustable blade used as a guide to facilitate the stitching of serger blind hems. It's also useful for flat locking and heirloom techniques. Because the adjustable blade acts as a guide for feeding fabric under the needle, this foot can be helpful for beginners. The fabric edge is placed next to the guide, making it easy to serge a straight line. The guide is adjusted by loosening the large screw in the center of the foot. When stitching a blind hem, the guide should be adjusted so that the fold of the fabric is just under the right needle. The hemming technique used with this foot is appropriate for knits, soft fabrics, and drapery weight fabrics. Best used on casual clothing and home decorating applications such as draperies, this is a quick method of hemming and finishing the raw edges of the fabric at the same time. The serger elasticator guides and stretches quarter to half inch wide elastic with precise control while serging. This is useful when constructing lingerie, swimwear, sportswear, dancewear, and home decorating projects. The roller applies constant tension on the elastic as it surged into the seam. The pressure screw on the top of the hinge section regulates the amount of stretch. Increase the pressure to increase the amount of stretch. Adjust the guide on the front of the hinged section by loosening the set screw and moving the guide from right to left. A three or four thread overlock stitch may be used to secure the elastic in place. Use a firm elastic wider than the stitch being used. Lengthen your stitch length to four to keep stitches from overlapping when the surged elastic relaxes into shape. The cording foot is useful for surging small cord, wire, fish line, or fine yarn into a rolled hem stitch. Attach wire to ribbon or fabric edges to create shapeable edges. The corded edge reinforces the rolled hem on a variety of fabrics. The guide in the front of the foot holds small diameter cording in place, and a second U-shaped guide is located in front of the needles. Together, the guides lead the cord directly into the stitching, holding it in place as the rolled hem stitch forms around it. Place the cord in the U-shaped guide, then into the guide in the front of the foot. Lower the foot, take a few stitches holding the end of the cord at the back of the foot. Slide the fabric under the foot and continue to stitch. The serger gathering foot quickly and accurately gathers fabrics utilizing a basic four thread overlock stitch with increased stitch length and differential feed settings. The fabric edge is cut, finished, and gathered evenly with one pass through the serger. Gathering using this method provides a quick, clean, finished, professional edge. Use the gathering foot for applications as varied as the creation of delicate ruffles on an heirloom garment shearing fabrics for dramatic evening wear and fashion accessories or gathering home deck yardage for bed skirts, pillows, and window treatments. The gathering flap on the underside of the foot separates the fabric layers for gathering and stitching to flat fabric in one pass. The adjustable guide on the side is helpful for aligning fabric edges. To adjust, loosen the screw and move the guide to the right or left as needed, then tighten the screw. 
To gather a single layer of fabric, place the fabric under the flap and stitch. The attachment base is used with some Bernina serger models to attach accessories that mount on the right hand side of the serger. Use the attachment base to secure the right hand seam guide, the guide for the multi-purpose foot, or the gathering attachment. Once secured to the serger, the attachment base may be left in place and will not interfere with normal serging. The serger multi-purpose foot is designed for a wide variety of tasks. For example, stitching strands of sequins, pearls, and beads, as well as making and attaching piping or inserting a zipper. The foot allows for cording to be quickly and easily covered to create custom piping while evenly trimming and overcasting the seam allowances. Piping may even be attached to a layer of fabric as it's covered. Strands of pearls, beads, and sequins can be attached in single or multiple rows, sewn to an edge, or flat locked on a fold and pulled flat. The multi-purpose foot has a large tunnel or groove on the underside of the foot and a channel on the right-hand side of the foot for feeding beads and cording. The separate guide holds the beads or pearls in place as they're fed into the foot. Some models of Bernina sergers require the use of an attachment base accessory to secure the guide to the serger. When making piping, insert the cording under the channel on the left side of the foot. Raise the presser foot and wrap the bias strip around the cording. Lower the foot and stitch. The right hand seam guide provides an aid in guiding fabric to maintain a precise seam allowance. Move the guide to the right or the left for the desired seam allowance. The right hand seam guide attaches in front of the lower cutting blade. Loosen the screw and slide the guide over the small black post. Tighten the screw once the guide is in place. Some models require the use of an attachment base to secure the seam guide in place. Move the guide to the desired seam allowance, place the edge of the fabric against the edge of the guide, and serge. In industry standard, the cover stitch is formed with two or three needles on the top and a looper thread on the bottom. Used for seaming, hemming, or binding, this stitch gives garments the look of ready-made clothing. The cover stitch foot is specifically designed to work with cover stitch formations found on certain serger models. The sole of the cover stitch foot is flat and has two or three needle slots depending on the serger model. The marks in the front of the foot indicate the needle positions. The foot is divided into three segments referred to as floating toes. The floating toes help guide the fabric and prevent sideways movement when stitching folded edges, seams, and ribbing. The serger cover stitch foot may also be used to top stitch binding edges, attach elastic, or apply trims. Designed for Bernina sergers that have cover stitch capabilities, the cover stitch hem guide assures perfect placement of the hem edge while stitching in place. The built-in guides on the left and the right hold the hem in place while a metal wall acts as a guide to position the upper cut edge of the hem allowance. Before attaching the cover stitch hem guide, be sure the serger is set for cover stitching. Position the guide and affix to the bed of the machine with the screws included with the hemmer guide. Once attached to the serger, loosen the adjusting screw and move the guides to the left or to the right to accommodate the depth of the hem. Position the cloth guide to hold the folded edge of the hem in place. The cover stitch guide is particularly effective on light to medium weight knits and medium weight decorator fabrics. The cover stitch hem guide may be used with either the wide or narrow cover stitch and two or three needle variations.